Hi everybody, it's Susan here at Butler Family Farm and I'm doing a combo video today uh, because I don't have a lot in, to do for my weird container growing that's a Gale, Gale Southern Living um, collaboration. So I'm adding on to it uh, the update uh, May video for the Survivor Seeds uh, 24 with the Vineyard Chicks, Bushcraft, and Lazy Days It Had. So my weird container garden this year is this uh, melted uh, seed tub, that, uh, not seed tub, mineral tub that we had for the cattle. And if you remember, I had one four o'clock that took off on its own. I planted several in here and only one came up. And these guys, this one and this one, back here and here, those are all from seeds I started in a red solo cup. So my container garden, my weird growing container garden is doing really well. And I just got to share, there's a little baby donkey out there doing a little nap. This mama's standing right here in the front protecting him. No, she's eating, that's right, she's making milk. This is daddy standing here in the front. So now we'll go out to uh, my Survival Seed 24 garden and give you an update on that one. If you saw, if you saw our short um, with our tree damage of the tree that got blown down, I believe probably the hail did it. Um, and you can see way up there where it broke, I think. Yeah, up there. Anyway, um, Robert's already been out here and done, ha has done phase one of the tree trimming. This is all, he's got the limbs over here trimmed off so he can get in better with the chainsaw. And this is all firewood, so we'll be filling up a rick. Here we are out at the seed survival seed, survival seed 24 garden. The tomato plant is doing really well. I've been out here and I think I need to stake it a little bit. I brought them all together for the storm the other night and when I came out here to check on them yesterday or the day before, I keep propping this guy up but I got a seed. I got a kidney bean already so I think I'm just gonna pull it off to take some of this weight off and prop this guy up. I'm getting a flower some flowers on the second one so we'll see how that see how that works out and then the um, squash is doing really well in fact I need to and I've said that probably before I need to uh, separate these out so they have a little bit more room I think I need to make three buckets for them and then the beets are hanging in there I'm just going to leave them as is. I'm not going to move them around, but they're doing pretty good. And I'm really surprised at the onions in here. I got, oops, hang in there. I've got um, several. This is an onion right here that was an original uh, seed uh, in a pot that I did. And I got one to this guy's laying down taking a nap. I got four in that row and then I came out and where the flag is is a row of uh, onions and the whole bed needs to be weeded out. I'll get that done but there's a row of onions coming up from seeds. Now the pepperoncinis I'm going to come out here and plant by seed out in this row. I did restart Um, some pepperoncini seeds in uh, solo cups that, excuse me, need to be out here potted as well. But I am going to put in a row of um, seeds to see what happens. And I'm sure I'm past the point. I have a big growing season. My growing season goes till the middle of October. So I think I'm good for everything that, that I want to plant. And so I'm just going to redo those. Um, do want to thank the Vineyard Chicks. Lazy Days Ahead with Jesse and Lisa and Bushcraft 
farms for this uh, great collaboration. I'm enjoying it very much. It's letting me uh, grow a few different things that I would not have thought about. So have a great day. This is our May video for both uh, the Survival C24 collaboration and the Weird Growing Container 24 collaboration. Thanks everybody. So I'm planting the last two. Here's one. And the other one dropped down in here. My last two Italian uh, pepper, pepper, pepper seeds. Cover them up. And then I have two starts that um, I had in the house. And I want to put them... Oops, wrong way. My onions. My other starts didn't take off so I'm not sure exactly what the deal was but we're gonna try two more seeds and that's all I have it's two seeds and um, plant these starts now that it's getting warmer I'm going to um, have to uh, be out here and water a little bit more um, in the daytime and I think I'm going to make my watering schedule kind of like in the morning because I come out I can come out here early um, to do that but uh, make it more Let's see, I know I'm blocking in the morning when it's cooler before the sun really gets going because this actually is sitting um, in some shade I don't know if that's what's affecting it but everything else seems to be taking off okay um, my onions restarts and this particular bed didn't get any uh, perlite in it and I probably should have before I started, but I didn't. And so, um, we'll just do the best. Maybe keep it graded up a little bit when I pull these dinky little weeds out. I have learned my onions are supposed to look like when after they start um, and they come out when they emerge let me put it that way There's a little bit of difference between the emerging part I noticed like these were this particular one was a uh, and this one too these were started in the house I can't see that now that I see that Sorry, these onions were started in the house, and these onions here were just started with the seed. So, um, making a, making sure I'm not pulling pulling onions out this time. I think I did last year, but anyway. So, just a little more update on my uh, Italian pepper pepperoni anyway the Italian seeds that I had and we'll see how it goes so again thanks for watching thanks everybody